Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech for Teaching. Today I'd like to show you how to make a virtual field trip that your class can go on no matter where they're at, whether they're in the classroom, whether they're at home because you're teaching online. But these field trips are very engaging, give a lot of good information to students, and are definitely a lot cheaper because they're free. The very first thing you need to do is you need to get to Google Earth. Now this is an in-browser app for teachers to use or anybody else at that fact and you can either google search google earth or you can type this url right here i will put that in the description below for you so that you can just click the link so once you get to this you want to click on launch earth and it'll load up google earth from within your browser you do not need to download anything special if you're doing this on pc and it loads up just perfectly fine before we get started, I kind of wanted to show you what a virtual field trip looked like on Google Earth. So in, for this, I need to go to Projects and click on World of Pyramids here. And I've got different landmarks selected here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And the first one I have is called Chichen Itza. So I've got a virtual field trip for pyramids. And right now I'm going to Chichen Itza. So when students click on this link, this is exactly what they're going to see. All right, you notice this window to the right here loaded up. If you click on that, it will give you a description about Chichen Itza, different points of interest within Chichen Itza. And you can also click on this picture here and see different pictures of Chichen Itza. All right, so once we are done and with Chichen Itza, we can select the, black, the back button here and go to the next point of interest. It's the Great Pyramid of Giza. So when I click on that, the entire world rotates, takes me all the way to Egypt. And when I click on this waypoint, or I can view it right here to the right, it opens up its window and you can see a brief description about that. Now this one has a Wikipedia link for you to click. So if you click on that, it will open up, up, and up it will open up another window. For you to see uh, more information about the uh, Great Pyramid of Giza. So same thing with the other one. You have different points of interest you can click on within that area. You can click on these pictures and look at the pyramids of Giza. So now I need to show you how to make a virtual field trip on Google Earth. So when you come to that link that I showed you earlier and click Launch Earth, it's going to open up something that looks like this. So you need to go to Projects and you want to click on Create. And I usually do this as a project in Google Drive because you can share it as a link through that. And it makes it much easier for students to click on. So I suggest clicking on Create Project in Google Drive. So once you do that, it's going to ask you what you want to title the project. We're going to name these, this project um, Large Cities of the World. Once you've created this project and named it, you're going to want to just click on the magnifying glass up here to search for something. Now, as you can see, I've already put uh, pyramid stuff in there, but we're not doing pyramids right now. So I'm searching for large cities in the world that I want my students to see. So I'm going to type in Tokyo, Japan, and when I click on this link, it's going to spin. Whoops, I'm going to uh, go ahead and research that for you. Click on the link. It'll spin the earth over to Japan and take me straight to Tokyo. So now you can click on its waypoint or it automatically loads it over here and you can click add to project. So what do you want to name your your point of interest. I'm just going to leave it Tokyo. So I'm going to click save and notice it puts that point of interest within the project of largest cities of the world. So let's uh, kind of zoom in and uh, just kind of take a gander here at Tokyo. It is most definitely a large city so let's check out its information make sure it's something we want students to be able to see. looks good to me. Um, here's the caption. You can read that to double check that that is something you want them to read. Um, points of interest look fine. So I'm okay with that waypoint. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to click the back button 
And now let's say I want them to see uh, New York. So I'm going to type in New York. And press enter. And it is going to spin the entire Earth around to New York City. Alright, notice it's got it highlighted in red. I'm going to uh, zoom in. Take a look at the city, make sure it's something that I want students to see. If I wanted to see wanted them to see Washington Square Park, I could click on that and add that, but I don't. I just want them to see general information about New York. So let's click on the little picture up here at the top and I approve it. I want to add it to my project. I like the title there. I'm going to hit save and it saved it in there. Um, let's try Los Angeles. We're going to do one more. And then we're going to move on, and I'm going to show you how to do some other things. So, Los Angeles. And there we zoom in to Los Angeles. You can see the border for what I typed in. I don't know if that's exactly correct, but it looks okay to my knowledge at least. And I like not this uh, point of interest. So I'm going to click Add to Project and hit Save. All right, let's pretend like we're finished with my project. I've loaded all of my point of interest in here that I want my students to go to, um, and I need to share it with them. So when you do this, like we clicked at the beginning, we clicked Save to Google Drive. So I just went to my drive, and it's loaded right there. Now, you can right-click this and move it to a folder if you wish, but for now, I'm just going to right-click it, and I'm going to click Share. Now this option right here where it says get shareable link when you click on that make sure that it says anyone with the link can view and you click copy link all right so now whatever type of uh, online software that you use to relay your assignments to students you can make a new assignment and just post that link in the assignment and when they click on that it will open up your project and they can click on the different points of interest and go there and research those points of interest. And now I'd like to show you exactly how to do that. So I've made an assignment for my classroom and I'm going to click add and I'm going to add the link and I'm going to paste the link right there. Click add link. You can see here at the bottom we've got large cities of the world and then you go up here and click assignment. So now, once your students click on this assignment and click on that link, they will automatically be taken to Google Earth and your project will load up for them to click through the points of interest and take their virtual field trip. So I hope this video was very helpful for you and that you'll use it in your classroom to get your students out of the classroom. Now, this is useful for not only teachers that teach in a physical classroom, but maybe teachers who teach online. Um, I know my situation right now, I'm having to teach from home because of the coronavirus quarantine going on. So hopefully that ends soon, but I still don't think I would be able to take my students on a field trip to Tokyo, New York, and Los Angeles. So this is going to be helpful no matter what time of the year you're using it or situation. Um, but I really hope that you found it useful and thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, um, subscribe for future videos like this and please leave a comment if you have any questions about what I just showed you or if you would like to see something different. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll be back.